ClickUp versus Notion for project management, which is better? Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick comparison between ClickUp and Notion and which is the better project management software. So first off, we're not going to go into the basic dashboards. We're going to compare the prices before we go into the dashboards of both of these platforms. So let's take a look at the pricing of ClickUp and Notion and see how they stack up against each other in terms of features for price. Now, both of these have a free version and I'm gonna take it straight to the point. ClickUp is the best if you have a team and Notion is better if you are using it for yourself. You can only add yourself as a team member for free on the Notion free version. However, on ClickUp, you can add as many members in your team. So there is unlimited members and you can only add one member on your Notion free version. But that just limits you directly. If you're looking to use these for free and you have a team, you're automatically gonna use ClickUp. And if you're looking to use this solo, you can use either ClickUp or Notion. That's the basic difference. But in terms of features, ClickUp provides you with 100 megabytes of storage, unlimited tasks and members. You have collaborative docs, real-time chats, emailing and ClickUp, Kanban boards, sprint management, native time tracking, and in-app video recording. While on Notion, you get unlimited pages and blocks. You can have yourself as your member, so you can't add any more members. You have five guest limitations. So you can add guests, but you can't make them members of your workspace they can't edit stuff and you also have a five megabyte file limit so the best thing about notion is that if you're looking to work with a lot of files you can do five megabyte files as many as you want because you can add as many pages and blocks as you want so you can add as many files while on ClickUp, you get a general bulk storage of 100 megabytes and you can't upload anything after that now below that you have your collaboration uh, aspects in notion where you get real-time collaboration link sharing and you also get uh, 40 block content types, 50 starter templates, wikis, docs, and notes, databases with rich, pro with rich property types, and you also get table, list, Kanban, board, gallery, and timeline views. And the best part are the timeline views on Notion are very, very interactive in comparison to ClickUp. Now, you can't use Gantt charts on the free version of ClickUp, but you can use them on here on a Notion, which I find to be another useful feature. So this is just a general comparison of their free versions. If we take a look at their actual dashboards, you can see over here, this is a basic little workspace that I have created on ClickUp, which is for product hunting. And if you click on uh, Notion over here, we're gonna get started with Notion and you can see this is their workspace. Now, Notion's overall aesthetic is very different from ClickUp. In terms of project management softwares, it is very much separated because monday.com, ClickUp and all those other project management softwares that you usually are able to find are different than Notion. So if you click on Notion, you have a getting started uh, platform and then you can add different pages. So if you add another page, you can add this as our product research like this. And then you can see over here, now we have our product research and within our product research, if you want to add anything, we're gonna type in slash and you can see if we want to add a text block, we can do that. If you want to add another page, we can do that. You can add a to-do list, a heading or a code divider toggle list or anything like that. But on ClickUp, you can see we have this list called product research. If you want to add a task, we just click on task over here at the bottom right. And then we can type in whatever our product is or whatever the task is. Find good coloring pens. And we're just going to click on create task. And then it will create this task. You can assign it to a different person. You can add a due date whenever. And you can even make this a recurring task, which is not a feature available on Notion. Now, after you have created a task, you can even move it. So if you click on a task on ClickUp over here and you select the status, you can add what kind of status it is currently present at. So if it's a approved idea, if it needs changes or if it has been approved. So you can move it like so. And just like that, our stuff has been moved to the completed section and it has been removed from our basic workspace. While on Notion, if you were to create a task list, you're just gonna click on slash, then you're gonna add a to-do list. And now you can add your different tasks. So product one, two, three, find good pens to sell like this. And you can add a to-do list. After that, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type in slash. You're gonna add a divider and then you can add slash again. You can add text. 
so you can add completed and then you, you can type in slash and then you can add um, numbered list or you can add any kind of basic text whatever you want for that you can add that over here and add all of your completed tasks on this section so if you strike off a task over here it's just going to be struck off like that if you were to actually do this on a physical list generally overall the aesthetics of both of these are very different and depending on what kind of work you're doing you're going to find one more compelling over the other now if you were to just type another slash command and if you scroll down to the bottom the good thing about notion it allows you a lot more customization as compared to the uh, clickup platform the clickup platform looks like this and even if you do as much customization as you can so i have this workspace called product hunting and I have customized this very much. But if I go on to another separate workspace that I have, I have another workspace called Hee Hee. I'm gonna go into that from my side hustle. And you can see over here that the separate workspace, this workspace, even though it is absolutely different, no data has been shared between these workspaces, they look exactly the same. While on Notion, you can add so much stuff. So if you go on to their embedding, you can add a embedded Google Maps, you can add abstracts and visions, you can add media, you can add web bookmarks, videos, audios, code, or files directly. And you have these basic inline templates as well. So if you want to add a list database, you can add that like so, and you can add more stuff and you can make it very custom. So you don't have to follow a basic layout that you have to do with ClickUp. Now, if we were to compare some of their paid versions or their standard versions, Versions that they usually recommend. Uh, you can see that the team version here on Notion starts at $8 if it is built annually, while the uh, business version on ClickUp starts at $9 if it's built annually, where on ClickUp you will get Google SSO, unlimited teams, custom exporting, advanced public sharing, advanced automations, dashboard features, time tracking, granular time estimates. You also get workload management, timelines, and mind maps. Now on the Notion $8 version, what you really get is unlimited pages and blocks, unlimited members, guests, file uploads, and version, and 30-day version history. So you can monitor any kind of changes that have been made in the past 30 days. Now, in terms of collaboration, it's going to allow you real-time collaboration and link sharing. You also get almost all of the enterprise features on the team version as well. And you also get bulk exports, admin tools, permission groups, advanced permissions, just as you would get with ClickUp. So generally, I would recommend that if you're a beginner, you should opt for ClickUp. If you're looking to use the free version and you're looking to have a larger team on the free version of any of these, then you only have that on ClickUp. But if you're someone that is very well acquainted with project management, management softwares and you need something that is very very custom tailored to your business or to your projects or to your overall uh, work that you do then I would suggest that you go with Notion because it's going to allow you a different kind of workspace than any kind of basic project management software would. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.